Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ron, and thank you for stopping by on this channel. I do a lot of drone-related content, tutorial videos, tech-related news, and the occasional product review. If you watched my previous videos, you know I just got back from vacationing with my lovely wife, Melissa, in Captiva, Florida. Now, shooting from New Jersey in the winter can get a little bit boring. It's getting colder out there. I got my coffee, so let's mix things up a little bit and go somewhere a little bit more exotic and warm. So follow me. I've been to Florida many times and I thought I had a good feel for what it was about and the things I would see. I've been to the typical touristy places like Orlando, Daytona, Miami, and the Keys, but I was completely amazed by Captiva and Sanibel Island. If you've never been here, Captiva and Sanibel are on the southwestern side of Florida. To get to our destination, you have to first pass through Sanibel Island, which has some great scenery and mile-long bridges. I stopped at one of the bridges coming into Sanibel Island and took some great shots with the Mavic Air. We won't talk about my almost losing the rental car keys. Yeah, they fell out of my pocket because I was rushing to grab the Mavic Air and get, get some shots. Lesson learned. We actually stayed at the South Seas Island Resort in Captiva and it was a gorgeous place to visit. Everything is so lush and green and exotic. You really feel like you're in the Bahamas while you're here. So about a mile before the resort, we stopped at a place called The Green Flash and had a bite to eat. The food here was excellent. And while we were eating, a manatee was swimming along the boat docks. Of course, I had to go down and try to get a shot of this guy. Sorry, the picture quality isn't that great. Now there's a ton of wildlife in this area. We probably saw 12 or more sea cows during our entire stay. As I'm walking down toward the docks, I also spotted this little guy as well. The bright green coloring on this little guy was amazing. Iguanas are all over the place down there, but this was probably the biggest one that I saw. So we got to the resort and Melissa passed out for a bit while I picked up my One Wheel XR from the shipping office. If you missed that video, I'll put a link here. I actually rented a One Wheel XR for the week and they shipped it to me at the resort. After I got my One Wheel XR all charged up, I went out for a spin to check out the resort. The resort itself has 2.5 miles of beautiful beaches with plenty to see and do. During our stay, Melissa rented a bike while I took out the One Wheel XR. I know we put over 60 miles on the bike and the One Wheel while we were there. Because Sanibel is right next to Captiva, we often drove down the Sanibel and rode the bike paths there. The entire town has a well-maintained bike path and walking paths, which makes it perfect for bikes or One Wheels. There's a 6,400 acre national wildlife refuge on the island as well. It's the JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Melissa and I tried to get the one wheel in there, but because of its federal lands, we got stopped by the 
at the entrance by the security guard who said we had to get permission from the park rangers. It's only a dollar to get in on bikes and after speaking with the rangers for a bit, they weren't sure what to do with a one wheel. So they said it was the first one wheel they've ever seen. The ranger that I spoke with said she actually saw me riding around downtown earlier. They were nice enough that day, but we didn't get in and the ranger left me her card. She was making some more calls, but we never actually got confirmation. It was a go to ride the one wheel within the uh, wildlife refuge. So if you're a one wheeler, just say Ron sent you and hopefully they'll update their rules so one wheelers can get entry going forward at least. I was told they only recently started allowing electric bikes. Not a big deal, it's new tech and not everyone knows how to handle a one wheel rider. I just try to be polite and hopefully the rules change going forward. Oh, and if you're in Sanibel near the reserve, make sure you watch out for the low flying owls. We didn't see any, but I guess they're around though we did see an eagle not too far from this sign. I don't want to make this video long, but we had an awesome time and I would definitely go back again, though next time I would bring my bug spray. I was shooting this Mavic Air footage at Sanibel Lighthouse during sunset and got eaten alive in just about 10 minutes. Yep, watch out for the no see -ums. It was only a problem on this beach by the lighthouse. I didn't have this issue anywhere else. I think it was just because it was sunset and probably the way that the wind was blowing, but I definitely got eaten alive by these suckers. Uh, this pic was taken three days after we were already back from our trip. Yeah, I hope you guys really appreciate these drone shots. With that being said, here's the Mavic Air footage I took while the no see made a meal of me. We didn't actually get great footage at Sanibel Lighthouse, but driving back to Captiva, I don't know what happened, but it's like someone wanted to make up for the meal they made out of me uh, and gave us a fantastic sunset. I'll be honest with you, this is one of the best sunsets I've ever captured or seen. I hope you guys enjoy it. Well, I think that's it. I should also mention Florida's dealing with a red tide issue in the area, which can really decimate marine life. It's worth mentioning because we did see quite a few small dead fish along the coastlines while vacationing. It's a shame because it's really a beautiful area. Before I go, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell for future video notifications. Uh, I hope you guys found this information helpful. And if you're planning a trip to Florida anytime in the near future, I'd love to hear about it. Also, let me know in the comments below where you're heading. And if you did get value out of this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. It really does help support the channel. Oh, I'm also waiting for my Skydio 2 still to come in. And when it does, I'll be sure to get those videos posted and let you know my initial thoughts. Uh, I did actually reach out to Skydio just the other day. If you've ordered one, it sounds like they're not starting the ship the first batch until the end of November. So I was hoping to have it already, but end of November, guys, first batch is going out. That's it. And until next time, take care. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not, it's fine. Women, uh, uh, that's all right, I want you to put this in. Women, uh, husband, about buying a one wheel. I'm getting exercise. You wouldn't want to be on a bike. And you're out in the sun, you having right. a good time? Good morning, I'm here. How you doing? Having fun? Right. Got your man out with you? And that changes the game. Let your husband buy the one wheel. See that this way, you can enjoy what you do. And it gets their butt off the couch. Exactly. It's the best investment. Honestly, it is. With my running, going outside.